this is what the friggin' thing looks like. Um, now, like massive. I think massive. it looks cool. Uh, I like the disc less one better. Yeah. But mm. I'm going to get the one with the disc. Because I'm well, going to. I think that both oh, is it data of the new consoles are dumb, but who cares? Because I'm <laughs> never going to look at it. <laughs> so I, like... Bro, you can't not look at it. Do you see how big this it is? Is, it is? It, it, it does like, look rather it's huge. True. So like, this is the is that? size so the comparison. One? Behind my TV. So my PlayStation will probably be behind my TV too. But wait, this is an Xbox One to the right of it? No, right? that's a... in the In the image that I'm looking at it. Oh, sorry, I, I have the image that's a comparison of... The PlayStation 5, and Xbox One, and then a Switch Lite to the right. Oh, so I, I'm gonna, I don't have that. I, I have all of the PlayStations. Here. Here, it's a PlayStation 4, and then a play, two PlayStation 3s. The big PlayStation 3s. And it still Here. towers Bob, over I'm, them. Bob, I'm going to send this to you right now. You're going to print it Just out for, first, and then fax it to me? I'm going to send. I'm going to fax it to you. <laughs> Hopefully, my internet doesn't go out. Here, I'm going to put this. Is there a message thing? Oh, I'll Just, send Just put it in the doc. Put it in the Google Doc. DM thread. I can do where uh, where the show notes are on Twitter. Ah, yes, I'll do that right now. But dude, looking at this, like I feel like it's hard to really understand how big these things are if you're just looking at it in comparison to other consoles. But like when you see it next to the Switch Lite and then also next to the Xbox One, this is the Xbox One next to my head. Is that a papercraft is... PS5? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Or is it like, a, and this like, is my... a, like a rendered version? This thing is like an extra couple of like this that that thing is huge yeah it's massive like it's very big I it's like a whole switch light taller <laughs> than the freaking yeah. xbox there so, there's like, one better have a place for like to for you to put your flowers in or like better have a tv modem inside of it or something oh, here's like, one that compares it huge. to the series x which i feel like is a nice. you did sorry uh we're back uh, uh, I was switching between two. The PS5 was too big and it crashed OBS. <laughs> uh, nice. But anyway, here's what it looks like next to uh, freaking the. Here's what a Xbox Series X, PlayStation Five. Uh, it's big in a different way. It's a thick boy. It's thick. Yeah. It's a thick lad. It's a thick man. I just, I thought we were past the point of video game systems looking like, you know toys or weird sci-fi nonsense because the last few systems have like sort of evolved to just look like you know dvd players or stereo equipment or things that would blend into your entertainment center this is not that no yeah, no this this, this is so loud and stands RT out party. they want to yeah. be in your face they well be like this so is the playstation 5. i feel like the reason why because the rumor was that you know, in the in the development yeah, of the like PS5, um, they had a lot of problem with heat. Yeah. Like it, it was getting really hot and like the really loud, and they needed to do something. I got to that to problem. all the thermals. Yeah, just like Bob. So that's part <laughs> of the reason why it's so huge and why it has those fins and sort of like to help dissipate the heat. Yeah, it's like the doesn't... Xbox One, how they overcompensated with that. Because exactly. Xbox 360 had so much problems with right. Heat. Um, but I think it's also probably a thing to like mitigate the whole like jet engine thing. Yeah, um, well, that's that's because of like it's trying to you know cool this thing down because yeah, otherwise right, it would melt. Right, right. But but I mean, we saw how effective their design was on literally just a square with the PlayStation <laughs> Four, and yeah. how effective they were with that. And that's supposed to, if that's like easy mode, right? If I'm the person who's doing the you know the tech and designing of a system from behind the scenes, I would imagine that just having a square. Is easier to manufacture and to build effectively, like a, a like a PC tower. Right. Like why I I don't have any confidence is what I'm saying in this thing. It has to be cheaper to manufacture like that too. Oh yeah, well, like, well not even cheaper. Exactly, you have to do these crazy molds or whatever. I'm yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. I can see this being a world where you buy this thing and you're like, wow, I love it. It looks so cool. You turn this thing on and then it just instantaneously explodes. <laughs> like <laughs> it's like I'm I have no reason to believe based off of PlayStation's history with their tech and their hardware that it won't easily overheat, won't topple over because it's very top heavy and weird. Right. Like it, I'm I don't know. I, I'm, I'm all for being positive and like looking forward to it for sure. But until I have someone like a month or six months after the fact being like, hey, it's it works. Yay. It's not overheating. It's not exploding. I'm not going to buy it. They, I mean, they, I know they ha have pictures of it laying like horizontally, but I don't believe them. 
So, it's so just it's a stand. Weird. Yeah, yeah. It, it requires a stand. It looks like it requires a stand to stand up straight, and it requires the same stand to lay flat. Yeah. The same stand or a different stand? It looks, it, like, it, it looks like the same stand. It looks like the stand. same stand because yeah. it goes underneath. Yeah, it's very it's unclear what what yeah. what the situation is. But still, that's weird. <laughs> it's weird that it requires a stand at all for yeah. for however you want to put it. I I get that like I mean, they kind of want to be polarizing and I get that people are like, "Oh, either you love it or you hate it" sort of thing. I'm in the camp of like before I even knew what this looked like, I don't care. I couldn't care less about what the <laughs> plastic video game box looks like. I don't care. But I will say, I think this in particular looks stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's trying too hard. It's just like, all right. Just... I feel like this is definitely a case. Like I've said before, like I'm the type of person to wait a year before getting a video game system. Right. At this point, I would be okay with waiting until the PS5 Slim. Yeah. yeah. When it looks less dumb. <laughs> when it looks less dumb. When, it, when it's just smaller. There's definitely going to be a mid console iteration, or a, it'll be like the Xbox One where they just immediately make a new version because the first one's so bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. There will be another one that's smaller and boxier. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I got my I got my PlayStation Four around when Bloodborne came out, which was like a year and a half or something mm -hmm. after the original came out. And I usually wait for those versions because since playstation 3 uh they always do the whole thing where it's like touch sensitive buttons because that's cool and i hate those i hate yeah. them so much because they're so annoying if you move well, your that, console at all that was so it's like I, that created the disc eject issue which was yeah. rampant on I, basically every launch I, ps4 I, hate those so much so like i feel like even more than the playstation 5 aesthetically what makes me want to wait is if they do dumb stuff like that where it's like we're so futuristic but like not really practical you know like that's the type of crap that'll make me not want to yeah. buy it but freaking spider-man miles morales you know <laughs> i want i want to point out that there's going to be uh problems with both consoles at yeah or, or the sure. first iteration of both consoles there will be weird problems yeah uh, for sure there's just because you know that's just always how it is and then there's there'll be a mid con mid generation iteration that fixes you know the, the real bad stuff um but I'm an early adopter. I'm going to get it and see what the hell the problems are because it's my job. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm going to get it too. But like at the same token, like I have more confidence in the giant rectangle that looks like a PC <laughs> tower. Which is, its entire top encapsulation looks like it's a fan to draw stuff out or draw air out. Like structurally, if I'm looking at the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Sex, whatever it's called. Yep. Series That's it. X, whatever. No, it Sex. Is. It's um, Sex. Yeah, the, X, the Sex Box looks mm -hmm. like it could play a video game the playstation 5 <laughs> looks like it it can hold flowers and fax me something you know they both I mean? just look like pc towers so PlayStation, playstation 5 gives me xbox 360 vibes and that can't be good <laughs> like it can't <laughs> be good at all so Dude, i no, went uh, wait, uh, yeah totally so i went absolutely insane when the the look of the playstation 5 came out and i just started comparing video game systems to old kenner batman yes, figures. yes I, I remember that, that. You and finally discovered the thread feature on Twitter. Yes, I shut up, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> and it really does does look like a Batman toy, like the it ears does. protruding out, and like the you know because it kind of looks like the cape covering him and stuff. Oh it's my just, god, you did so oh, many. I did. <laughs> I did all the major ones. <laughs> But I thought that because like how you how you structured it when you initially did it, it was just like the current like consoles. Like, no, I, I, like, it was like I, I it was, was like next gen at first, and then you like woke up the next day, and I was like, oh, there's more. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this was like a whole. I started week doing it. There's the Sega Saturn. I was looking. A friend of mine sent me N64, so I'm just like, I'm stealing that, and then just <laughs> screw it, We're driving this into a wall. So the, the thing that I had, like whenever I see things like this, especially from like someone who's from a product design background, I'm always like, okay, what would I do to keep that same idea, but then like kind of make it more appealing or whatever. And so all of us use hard drives, or whatever, you know, the Seagate hard drives that are like, it's a right angle on one side and then a curved beveled edge to the side. You yeah. know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Where it's like yeah. this and then has like a half circle situation. So I saw that and I was like, okay, the way that I would change it to make it better and like possibly more functional, but keeping the same idea principle 
is you just do that. You have a curved beveled edge. You could have like the the different colors, like the white um, enclosure on the top and bottom. You could have like the RGB color stuff that they're talking about in the middle. And then guess what? If it's flat on one, two, three sides or whatever, you can sit it down vertically and you can have it be horizontal. Like right. this is something in design that like frustrates me is that I didn't think that it would ha happen as bad as it is with the PlayStation 5. But it's like, essentially the idea is like, hey, fuck it, it looks cool just do it which is there cool in some there industries you, go, you gotta edit that <laughs> but like but like with games and like compute it's a, it's a computer bro like if i received that on the other end of like i buy power i'd send it back and be like, just put it in a rectangle that works <laughs> well, that's the, best, that's the thing is uh, it's it's got to be the heat there's no other reason why that would look that ridiculous you know yeah yeah, no, no, I it, think that's the reason why it's that big. I don't think that's why it looks like that. I think they the reason why aesthetically it looks like that is they wanted to make a statement. They wanted to stay. I think it's yeah, a little bit state, of both. The state, this it's system dumb. runs really hot, so we got to find a way to disappear. <laughs> I think it's a little AJ, bit of both because you yeah. could see vents around the entire yeah the entirety of the console. But like, bro, if you've ever been they could have just made it a box if they just that's wanted what, to do that. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. I've never gone to a local PC purveyor and the guy's like, well, you know, here's the tower over here. Over here, we have what we call the jet engine prime. It, it looks like an alienware. Air everywhere. It does. It looks like an- There's a very uh, specific uh, alienware tower that it looks that like. Yeah, and that's the, that's that's the sort of thing. They have like that same type like of mission early statement. Early 2000s they, alienware. They want, they want you to look at an alienware computer and say, that's an alienware yes, computer. Yes. It's I, not I'm agreeing with you that it's that yeah. that it's that there's two reasons one of them is heat and one of them is that they just want it to look ridiculous <laughs> well they did it um oh here it is this is the one uh well, no that's a play that's just a playstation 4 with uh that's just a playstation 5 with alienware <laughs> on it never mind <laughs> it's a mock-up but no that when we first saw the controller we immediately said this is early 2000s future design <laughs> yeah I yeah, saw the controller 100%. and I thought I was like, "Oh, it's gonna look like the dev kit," and everybody's gonna be pissed because <laughs> <laughs> it, I it very, very much mad. so had like yeah. similar design language to it, and it has like the same type of like lines and all that. So it's like, "Oh yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if it looks like that." And even when we it, first saw, like when they first did the whole you know like, hype trailer with the freaking beat and playing it, very we even were like, "Oh, it, it is that," and then it was like, "Oh, okay, no, it's not." You remember the episode of SpongeBob where they go to the white room and it's Squidward yelling future? Yes. Yes. That that room is inside of the PlayStation 5. <laughs> yes. 